right, if y'all can. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for being with us today and guiding us as we make our decisions for the betterment of this city. And please be with our nation and as decisions are made and and hopefully just some rest for our people. Dear Lord, they need some guidance at this time. All of this in Jesus Christ, our Savior's name, and God's people said, Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. We have an employee recognition this evening. Officer Huggins. In appreciation of 30 years of service to the city of Forsyth. You have been an icon for this city. We been there with you when you've been sick. You, I mean, people love you. You have just been so much, dedicated so much of yourself to this city and our kids. And so I can't thank you enough for all that you do. I really can't. Thank so, yeah. All right. Thank you so much. And this is for you too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye, dear. Love you. Say the things that are on my mind and in my heart. So I just appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. National Flood Insurance Program. This is supposed to be Nathan. But Nathan is under the weather at this point. So, Jack? I did talk with uh, Nathan about it. Uh -huh. And of course, the city has uh, discussed this previously. And in the previous times, we've elected not to do so because of basically what the city has involved in the floodplain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've, we've passed on the floodplain insurance for at least 15 years that I know of. Yes. Because of the restrictions and requirements and qualifications it involves. So okay. I would make a motion we deny the floodplain insurance program. I okay. second that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Aye. Okay, update on the internet and phone system upgrade. Well, this has been kind of a combination <laughs> of Jack and... <laughs> we're, we're waiting on Mediacom. They're working on uh, developing what they need to do to get the rest of the service into this building. Uh, they have preliminarily now told me that the wastewater treatment plant will not be serviceable because it will take a twenty-five dollars or $26,000 bill to get to it. So they're not willing to do that yet. But they're telling me about February. And then okay. we're in the process on phone jacks. We're getting closer every day. Okay. So. We do have all of the lines run, uh, 13 of them. Uh, Edmund, Dave, and Nathan did that in four hours. And that's all thanks to Craig Smith loaning us the tools to do it. Okay. Fishing poles. <laughs> when he said we could borrow his fishing poles, we thought, thought he was going to take us out on the pond too. Poles that to screw together that you can run from one end of the building to the other above the tiles without taking out every other tile, which is what we've done in the past. So thank you. You're thank welcome. you all. Happy to help. Mm -hmm. All right. So is the Okay, we've got the minutes of December 21st, 2020. Anybody have any questions on those? Thank you. Thank you. 
Okay. I'd make a motion to approve the minutes. Okay. I'll make the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. All right. And bills for approval. Motion to approve the bills. December the 24th, $13,825. December the 31st, $3,299. And January the 7th, 2021, $23,918.75. Second that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, financial statements for uh, December 31st, 2020. Following the bills are your, is your cash balance sheet for this month ending December 31st. Our cash balances are within $70,000 of where we were last year. And the next page shows our uh, operating reserves, which are falling back in line. So we'll go back to a quarterly look at those rather than a monthly look at those. They've been in line for the last three months. Uh, your revenues and expenses are in line. I did see the sales tax receipts this morning for this month. Year to date, we're down about 2%, but that's not a lot compared to others, and it may bounce back next next month. It's hard to tell. It's a very um, uneven distribution. It comes and goes. So that should be uh, pretty much in line on sales tax. Property tax is trying to catch up, but I don't yet have our receipts for the rest of the month of December. So I, I think that will be pretty much in line with where it should be for the year. We have... Uh, finance companies, bond issuers, bugging me, requesting information, wanting to know if we are interested in doing a refinance on our water and sewer revenue bonds that we issued in 2012. Uh, we're to the point in our payoff where we could see a little bit of savings depending on how we issued them, but each of the three that have called me have a different plan and very different numbers on what those costs would be. So. I'm looking for input whether you want me to proceed down that line, uh, how detailed you want me to get if we want to do a request for proposal from them, or if we just want thumbnail sketches from them. I think we need to contact our, I can't think of his name, our guy that does our bond refinancing for us, that puts it together and recommends it. We've had two different ones. Okay. Piper Jeffries. Piper Jeffries, who we used last. Hillingham is gone, and there's a new guy with Piper. Well, he, was, okay. he was very agreeable last time when we did yeah. the capital I, improvements I would bond. say that that's the direction we need to go. I to agree with that. Yes. I think that would be well to do They that. know what they're talking about. Yes, they can they make recommendations. Uh, I think his name is Goforth. Todd Goforth. It's Todd. Huh? It's definitely Todd. Yeah. Todd G. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, that's Piper Jeffrey. Piper Jeffrey. The other things that are coming up this spring is a trash contract renewal. Uh, the representative has notified us that he wants to come down and talk to you in March about the one extension that's permitted under our current contract on trash removal services. And then I'll be preparing requests for proposals for audit services, banking services, and insurance services. And I would expect that we would be opening those proposals probably in April if the date of any changes would be July 1st, if we were making any changes. But, and then next month you will also see uh, Madison with the independent audit report, which has been completed by KPM, and they'll be bringing that to you for next month's meeting. Okay. So that's all I have. All right. Approval of transfers from December 24th. Now we got to make on the financial statement. Oh, okay. We're going to approve the financial statement. We'll make a motion to approve the financial okay. statement as of December 31st, 2020. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, approval of transfers from December 24th, 2020 through January 7th, 2021. Motion to approve the transfer for that time period. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. 
All right, and then we've got uh, miscellaneous things here. Um, Trent, what's here is here. You want to introduce him? Yeah. <coughs> this is Trent Gowdy. I didn't know one of our ministers there. He couldn't make the last meeting. He had to do many times. I'd recommend him. He did 16 years in the Republic. So I started, out about, I started out two years in Christian County Sheriff's Department. So I worked at the jail my first two years, 03 to 05. And then I transferred to Republic, and I've been there ever since until uh, May of this year. And of course, with city revenues being down, they decided to get rid of the reserve program. But I've been over there a long time, worked the road. I've mm -hmm. uh, been on their SWAT team, worked a lot of events, and uh, you know, uh, City of Republic is extremely busy. Yeah. Uh, so there was always plenty of work to go around. So I enjoyed my time, and uh, you know, I'm really excited, looking forward to being here. Good. Can Good. you tell us, Trent, you're certified to train in various fields? Can you? Go so I am. So one of the things, you know, I'm one of those guys that I have basically two resumes. You know, I have my daily job and my full-time job, which is I, I am a director of facilities for Burrow Behavioral okay. Health. And so my background is maintenance and engineering. And so I run a team of uh, uh, guys here in Missouri, uh, Columbia, and Springfield. So we cover about 60 facilities, and that's one of my resumes. So I have a background in electrical, hydraulics, HVAC, you know, that type of thing that pertains to, to maintenance. So my second resume is my law enforcement resume. So like I said, I started out with Christian County, uh, went to Republic, and I also work for a group called the Association of Professional Trainers, and that's how Dave and I met. So we run in kind of the same circles. And so I'm an instructor for the Association of Professional Trainers, and at that site or that facility, we teach a little bit of everything. So we teach civilians, we teach military, and we teach police. So that's firearms, tactics, repelling, scuba diving. So we teach a very wide variety of skill sets. Uh, I've been there about 25 plus years. Uh, what I like to tell everybody is I'm a lifetime student. And so there's so many things out there to learn. And, and every time we go down, it's, uh, you, you know, you, you just learn from everybody. And there's so much stuff out there. So to answer your question, yes. But you don't live with your parents, even though you're alive. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to get that. No, no, no. I brought my wife with me. She's with me tonight to kind of keep me under control. So uh, we've been together 29 years, married 27. Wow, and then that's my impressive. wife works for Springfield Police Department, wow. so she kind of understands, you know, everything that goes on and yeah, uh, in the law enforcement world. So sure. Well, you certainly sound very qualified in many areas. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And, and do you live in Springfield? Or? So I live 10 miles west of the Springfield Airport, if that puts that in perspective. Okay. So we live away. That's a drive. It's yeah. a drive. It's a drive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we, I've lived in that uh, Bodark, and I think right. Jack and I were talking uh, last week, and Jack knows where Bodark is located. But in there, I yeah. have lived there in in that area all of my life. Really? I've never really strayed, other than my military time. I've, yeah. I've been around around that area my whole life. Well, we're very happy that you chose to come and help us out. Yeah, we, well, thank you. Yeah, I'm are. excited. And, yeah. and I just wanted you guys to know that one of, one of the things that I have done is I was uh, president of the water department in, in the, the city of Bodark, or, or the Green County Public Water District number six. And so I've noticed this meeting is very organized, very structured, and boy, you guys get to the point. Yeah, we and, and I appreciate that because our meetings did not seem to be that good. Yeah. So, no, it's a pleasure to meet everybody, and I'm sure I'll be down here and, and interacting and, and meeting everyone. All right. All right. Thank, well, you thank you so much. much. We approved you last month, so good. <laughs> good. you're good. good. He's all good. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, yeah. You. thank you so much for thank coming you. down. You bet. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, and there's one other thing that I want to acknowledge. Um, Craig Smith. Every month you come in, and since this whole pandemic started, and people have not been able to come to the meetings like we normally do, and um, I just want to show my gratitude to you, how much we truly appreciate all that you're, you, that you dedicate to us. You help us with the wiring things, there's a multitude. You made to help me make the signs for the sign out front for the Panthers and stuff. And 
and uh, split that cost with me and stuff. And mm -hmm. I just can't thank you enough for how much you dedicate yourself to this city. Well, thank you very so, much. So appreciate my, my you so I, much. My wife and I uh, love to be love being here, and we're we're happy to help yeah. any way we can. All right. Well, well thank, thank you. you. Just want thank you, you, you so to know much. how much we do truly appreciate. I appreciate that. Thank yeah. you. Uh -huh. It's good to see you here every meeting. <laughs> <laughs> well, not, you. As, not as nice tonight because you didn't bring your wife. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a little bit less tonight. I'm not <laughs> I won't tell you what she's doing. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it so much. Well, then we want to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, everybody. You know we hit easy. <laughs>